Although it has been speculated, it now appears it may be a done deal. According to multiple reports, Captain America the Winter Soldier directors Anthony and Joe Russo will be directing the upcoming Avengers films, Infinity War Part 1 and Infinity War Part 2, after they finish with Captain America Civil War, which goes into production just over a month from now. How this affects the other films the Russos were to direct, The Gray Man and a Channing Tatum Ghostbusters project, is still unknown. John, what do you think about the Russo's? So is directing the next two Avengers films. I, look, I know everybody's expecting me to say, yeah, I, I honestly don't know how I feel about this yet. I have to I have to think about it a little bit longer. And also let me see Captain America Winter or uh, Captain America Civil War first. The, the, here's the thing, though, with uh, with this. I one of the things I love about the Marvel Cinematic Universe and one of the things that I think has made it so great is that they so rapidly and quickly go through directors. They bring in so many different flavors and takes on characters and they mix it up. Like phase one was basically all different directors other than John Favreau who did like Iron Man 1 and 2. But other than that, they just went through a whole different slew of directors. They did a lot of that in phase two as well. Um, so the notion of bringing in these directors who did a fabulous job on Winter Soldier. I mean, I keep going back and forth between, you know, Days of Future Past, Winter Soldier, and uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy as what what was my favorite comic book movie. Like, they were so, all three of them were so awesome. The Russo's did such a good job. And actually, we had the Russo brothers in our studio hanging out with me and Schnapp and Amy Rose. There it is right there. They, the, they came in and hung out with us for the afternoon talking Captain America Winter Soldier. It, it was a really good time. And I like these guys a lot. I was also very excited to hear that they were coming to do Civil War. But now they're staying on the property and they're going to do, so now Winter Soldier, Civil War, and they're going to do the Avengers. I always get a little bit nervous about Sam Raimi-isms, about, you know, you stay on Spider-Man too long, eventually you lose that that creative juice and things start to feel a little bit stale. You're not bringing in new creativity anymore. I... I think I would rather see them do Civil War and then go off and do other projects and then get somebody else to come in and do Avengers. I'm not sure. I love what they did so far. I, I'm i torn. Ask me again in like six months, I think. I don't know. Shep, you heard about this. What do you think? Yeah, <clears throat> me personally, I think it's a great idea. I mean, I would have liked to have had jo Joss Whedon just stay on forever, like just chain him to Marvel. But like, you know, he's one of those guys who's like, look, I've been on this for like six years you know, on Avengers, all the way through Avengers Age of Ultron. You know, I got to see him actually directing. He was run ragged. He was limping. I was like, man, that yeah. guy needs a break. And that was six months into the project, and he had another six months to go. So I knew, I just knew, I was like, man, he is not going to do Avengers 3 because he already was saying, I don't think I'm doing Avengers 3. I'm done. This is the last one. Um, he's not saying he's not going to write Avengers Infinity War. I'm sure, he'll, I'm sure he'll get involved in the writing aspect. The Russo brothers did such an amazing job with The Winter Soldier. Incredible. And then just uh, just hearing what some of the plans they had for Civil War, I just I wholeheartedly, you know, when I heard that they were the, you know, like months ago, like that they might possibly take over the reins for Joss Whedon and do the Infinity War. I'm all for it because it's going to be like a refreshing new thing for them. They're doing Civil War, which is like Avengers, you know, 3.5 or 2.5. Yeah, it's it. a good. And good now point. they're going to actually do Avengers and they just have it. I think they have it. So it's like to me, it's not a. I don't need to see another director take another take on the Avengers. I think they they kind of got that group mentality with Captain America, and I'm looking forward to seeing Civil War. So I'm all for it. Mark, I think it's exciting. Uh, but again, I had a little bit of hesitancy when I first heard the news, and because I was like, well, what's up with Joss Whedon? And if it's true that Joss Whedon doesn't want to be involved anymore because he's simply too tired, he's been run ragged by these movies so far, then I get that. It's interesting timing because we have Avengers Age of Ultron coming out, a movie that he directed that does have all of these people in it. And then all of a sudden now in 2019, which is still four years away, we're going to get somebody else who, granted, are doing a, they did one great film. They also did You, Me, and Dupree. Yeah, let's not forget that. <laughs> and so I think we need to see Civil War before we make it, before we get so amped about mm. what's going on. I'm I'm less nervous about this than I might be in another situation, simply because Marvel has such a good team in place right. behind the camera. They have such a great infrastructure that I don't think it's just, oh, we're going to let the Russo brothers go off, and I hope they don't mess this up. There's going to be so many conversations and so many meetings between Feige, probably Whedon, and whoever else they get into pitch in, mm -hmm. writing the project, and all their producers and exec producers are all going to be collaborating on this project together. What you see on the screen is going to be a bunch of superheroes teaming up 
behind the screen is the same exact situation with Infinity War. You bring, you bring up a really great mm -hmm. point about trusting not just in the guys that are going to be getting in the director's chair. Because once again, I have a world of respect for these guys and what they did. They, they gave us the first really true political thriller of a superhero movie, which was Winter Soldier was just so flipping good. I just worry for them that staying on the project too long and not being involved in other things. But you make a great point about also trusting the other team that's behind the camera as well with them. And hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.